I was just speaking with some of my co-workers in Ukraine. We have uh, software developers in Ukraine and QA people, and uh, it's completely surreal. The ladies, um, their husbands drove them to the border and then they crossed, so they took refuge in other countries like Moldova um, there. And then the men, men came back and the men are actually, you know, we do this daily meeting. It's called a stand-up in software companies. I'm just telling you in case you don't know. And so they showed up, they were giving their updates and they also told us casually that you know, they need to go back and uh, be building those anti-tank obstacles. You know, they're defending the motherland, they're defending their cities today. This is 2022, not 80 years ago and not in some parallel universe. And by the way, these are not like trained commandos, okay? These are people like you and me. I mean, that's how crazy it is. If you, uh, if you have any co-workers or friends who are Ukrainian or of the descent uh, here in the States or wherever you're watching from, talk to them, offer some words of kindness and support. They're not okay, I can guarantee you, they're not okay. And it's okay if you don't know what to say, just tell them you don't know what to say, they'll understand, but every little bit helps. Um, because um, because they're hurting. The whole world is hurting, but these people are really hurting because it's not academic to them. It's very real. They're trying to defend their country. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And if God is watching, I hope, you know, he's paying attention to what's going on.